Viewers, you know about the Al Jazeera story, don't you? There's a guy who was interviewed by Al Jazeera, and uh, he had said that uh, President Akufuado is um, President Akufuado is um, is his lawyer, and he's thought to be a money launderer and all of that. Uh, a day or so ago, people sent me a, something on the phone. Uh, Martin Amidu, the former special prosecutor, former attorney general. Martin Amidu had written something about Akufad. I, I, I understand that he actually mentioned me in very derogatory terms, but that's okay. Those things are not to be responded to. Martin Amidu, I've already told him what to do, to watch Manchester United. Unfortunately, we didn't win tonight. We took a two-goal lead, and then I don't know what happened. By the time I was leaving to come to the studio, it was 2-0. I got to the studio. They were laughing at me that it's 2-2. Two -two. So Martin Amidu should watch Manchester United. He have a lot to do. But anyway, that's a joke. He wrote something that we will not deal with tonight. But this is what President Akufado, through his secretary, Nana Santi Bediatu, has written out uh, to Al Jazeera. And uh, this is the letter office of the president, and uh, it's from the office of the secretary to the president, and it's as follows. I am instructed by President of the Republic, Nanado Danko Akufado, to demand formally that Al Jazeera Media Network retract immediately and apologize for airing an inaccurate and unfair documentary that contained spurious and unsubstantiated allegations against the president and the government of Ghana. The documentary in question made baseless claims that the president acted as a lawyer for Mr. Alistair Mathias and implied that the president personally benefited unlawfully from an alleged 100 million state infrastructure contract purportedly awarded to Mr. Mathias. In his letter dated 11th April 2023, responding to Al Jazeera's letter of 2nd April 2023, which was received on 6th April 2023, containing these vague and defamatory allegations, the legal counsel to the president, Mr. Kwabaka Isuman, acting on the instructions of the president, informed Al Jazeera that the president had not been in private practice since the year 2000, and that the president had no recollection of acting as a lawyer, either personally or through his law firm, Messrs. Akufado Prempe and Co., for a Mr. and Mr. Mathias or his company, Gold Rest Resources. I've seen people read part, this part of present statement and they raise issues that if a person is a, is a lawyer, you know. If he's not a lawyer, you know. You can't come and tell us that you can't recall it. <laughs> I've heard that. I mean, what does that mean? Do they really think that President Akufado wrote a letter that he, if he can't recall it, he'll check? So that check has been done. It's just a civil way of writing. If you write it any other way, you might be thought to be uncivilized in terms of accusing another person of lying or something like that. So that, this is how it's presented. It is presented like that. I have no recollection of. That's not, that doesn't mean that he, he's afraid that he's saying he doesn't remember. Some people have said on social media, hey, hey if you are, you are a lawyer for whatever he is, he's a man, it's your client, you know. So come and say it. And then don't come and say it. It's, a, it's just a civil way of writing. This is a clear denial that I don't know the man. And he has never, I've never represented him. But this is how you write it, you know. There are ways of communicating that I think uh, we have to understand. Uh, sometimes you bring politics in, and propaganda into everything. This is just a way of communicating. It doesn't mean the president cannot remember. But he's just being civil. Please. Okay. Let's read it again. <laughs> he says, since 2000, that the president had no recollection or acting as lawyer, either personally or through his law firm, Mrs. Akufado Prempe & Co., for a Mr. Alistair Mathias or a company, uh, a Gold Rest Resources. Okay. In those circumstances, further and better particulars were demanded from Al Jazeera to respond adequately to the allegations made in Al Jazeera's letter. He said, in those circumstances, further and better particulars were demanded from Al Jazeera to respond adequately to the letter. Al Jazeera was thus requested to provide information on the period for which the president allegedly provided legal representation to Mr. Alistair Mathias or his company, Gold Rush Resources. Furthermore, Al Jazeera was requested to provide details of the USD 100 million tender for state infrastructure allegedly given to Mr. Mathias, which he outsourced and kept a percentage in offshore accounts as stated in the letter, as well as information on how the president personally benefited unlawfully from the alleged 100 million tender for state infrastructure. What does that even mean, state infrastructure? What kind of tender is for state infrastructure? <laughs> I mean, viewers, honestly, what, what kind of tender is for state infrastructure? What's a state infrastructure? The Circle Dubai is state infrastructure. The Swami uh, Interchange is state infrastructure. The Obechebi is state infrastructure. The Sakumono interchange is st state infrastructure. The Accra Kumasi Road is state infrastructure. The, uh, the, uh, a new building for a rich hospital is state infrastructure. 
the 77 buildings, uh, hospitals, 101 hospitals, of which they say they are building about 70, is state infrastructure. I do not see how a contract and tender can be issued for state infrastructure, 100 million. I'm not sure about how that description will fit in all the processes of awarding a contract, public procurement authority, uh, control and accountant general minister of any call it state infrastructure. I really don't see how that works. Anyway, but let's see. Al Jazeera refused or failed to provide these details as requested and went ahead with the broadcast of the documentary. At the end of the documentary, a test text was shown uh, contradicting the content of the documentary. Additionally, the subject of the documentary, Mr. Alistair Mathias, denied what he said in the documentary to Al Jazeera's investigative journalist. Hey, I don't understand this. Additionally, the subject of the documentary, Alistair Mathias, denied what he said in the documentary to Al Jazeera's investigative journalist. Okay, he denied it elsewhere. All right. Okay. In light of these blatant denials by Mr. Alistair Mathias and the response from Mr. Suman, those parts of the documentary ought not to have been included because those statements were not true. Okay, the statement of the president doesn't quite say where, in which forum that Alistair denied it, but it, it seems pretty obvious from the statement that the president's office have obtained a denial from Alistair or they know how to find it or it is on some platform that they are aware of. That's why they are boldly writing it like that. Accordingly, those parts of the documentary are malicious, defamatory, and a calculated attempt to tarnish the reputation of the president and the government of Ghana. It is therefore demanded that Al Jazeera withdraws the documentary immediately, retracts and apologizes to the president and the government of Ghana for airing such an unprofessional and defamatory documentary. It is imperative that you act forthwith on this request within seven days from the date of receipt of this letter. Please confirm receipt of this letter and your intention to take the necessary action as requested. Signed by Nana Asante uh, Bedietu, press secretary to the president. Well, what do Ghanaians make of this? I like this president for the way in which he conducts his affairs. You know, he's, he's still very much a lawyer. You know, he's, he's still very, very much a tort lawyer, constitutional lawyer. He's still very much like that. So in his mind, is, he works like that. I'm not sure which forum he's going to present the legal action, but I guess it will be in Doha, which is the headquarters of Al Jazeera. I'm not sure how the jurisdictions work in terms of which lawyers, whether Ghanaian lawyers can represent the president in a court in Doha. I'm not sure whether Al Jazeera is a company that's probably registered in the United Kingdom so they can sue them there. I'm not, I'm not sure how. But I'm hoping that Al Jazeera will do the needful and everything will be settled. If Al Jazeera also have some more incriminating evidence against the president, and in relation to Matthias, they must publish it and say, Mr. President, look, we didn't even publish everything. The guy said more things about you. This is da, 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 da. And that the denial he gave you, he gave us another counter, whatever it is. They should come and say it. I'm confident that, I mean, if you look at the guy's age and look at the president and he says that he's his lawyer, it really doesn't, it's not true. Anyway, he heard that President Akufado is a famous lawyer. So in bragging that he's Africa, he says, oh, he was my lawyer because President Akufado has represented very, very famous clients, all the big international construction companies in the 80s. His law firm represented many of them, many, many, many important clients in Ghana. So you would have heard that he's a lawyer. It's easy to say that, oh, he's my lawyer, and then he's bragging like that, you know. Anyway. <laughs>